Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I've got for you a room tour and some organisation and storage tips and ideas. So first off I like to store some of my nail polish on these IKEA ribber picture frames. Now these are fab for storing nail polish on and you can usually fit about two rows of nail polish one behind each other. And also another one of my favourite IKEA things is the IKEA Mom 3 drawer. I love these because they come in white and they look so clean and crisp. So next I love to store some of my favourite jewellery on display using a jewellery tree and you can find these really affordably and I got mine from Wilco. And also I store my go-to jewellery on my DIY jewellery tray that I made in a recent video that I'll link down below. So looking closer at the mum inside, I like using these drawer inserts that you can get from Ikea and they're called the Scub and you can get them in lots of different colours and they just are ideal for just storing little bits and bobs. I also like using mason jars and just old makeup boxes and things just to store little bits and bobs in. So another way of displaying items that you want to hand is by using really pretty candle um, plates and jars. Just shop around in different departments to find things like this. I also did this DIY mason jar to store my nail polish in as well that I'll link down below as well. Now I had this old Moroccan lamp that was brown and I just thought why not reinvent it by spraying it white so it matches with my room and this is just a perfect way, an affordable way of updating old furniture. Now we had the most tiniest wardrobe ever and I can hardly see my clothes in it. So I like storing some of my go-to seasonal clothes on a really affordable clothes rack and that way you can see everything and you can just pick out outfits more easily. Okay, so if you haven't guessed, I am a big fan of IKEA and DIY. And I love these IKEA four um, shelf units and also the drainer, which is the mint green little boxes that go inside. They're just so neat and tidy and they're really compact and you can fit anything in them. So next this is sort of like my office area and I have a couple of postcard quotes that I got from Paper Chase and I just frame these and also I have my DIY tassel garland that I made ages ago in a video which I'll link down below but this is just a really affordable way of decorating your room. And also I have my DIY inspiration board. This just helps keep me inspired. And I also made this in a DIY, which I'll link down below. So next onto my window ledge, and I just made these DIY washi tape tea lights. And they're really easy, you literally just decorate a bit of pretty washi tape around the tea light and it just makes them look a little bit nicer. So onto my little shelves, again I love looking for just things in different areas like the kitchen and the candle section and I also love making stuff with mason jars because you can just make anything out of them. So this is my makeup area, my favourite area, and these Muji acrylic storage containers are fab for storing makeup brushes. They just come in all different widths and lengths, and you can also get these acrylic drawers as well, and they're just great so you can see everything. Like my lipsticks, it's really good, I can see each colour that I've got, and I just think they look pretty when they're on display as well.
These are another perfect storage idea for lipstick and I'm sure you've seen them a ton on Instagram and they are the acrylic lipstick holders and you can get them from TK Maxx and Amazon really cheaply and they are just great. Also I love storing lip balm in little kitchen heart dishes, they are just perfect for putting stuff on display. Fairy lights are another good way for just making your room look pretty. Make sure you've got the lead ones and they're safe, but they are really effective in a room. Personally, I love displaying perfume bottles because these days they make the most prettiest bottles and I think they should be on display. So I like displaying them on a mirrored tray. Also look out for really pretty towels that you can protect your vanity with while you're doing your makeup. So last but not least onto the IKEA Alex 5 drawer. Now I'm sure you've seen these a ton but they are so great for storing makeup in. And I like using the PP storage units from Muji to display and store my makeup in just so I can see everything clearly. Another good one is the IKEA God Morgan because these are really great for storing pigments and gel liners and things like that. So a great way of protecting your drawers is using some of the IKEA Ferrera I think it is and you can cut this to size and pop it in your drawers and it just protects them from all the makeup that's going everywhere. Now if you're like me, I have a ton of makeup bags that I've got in gifts and things that are so pretty that I don't really want to throw them away. So I use them to store nail files and things like that in and they're just really useful for doing that. Also just look for old skincare boxes and gift boxes that you've had. Keep them because they are really useful for storing nail polish and just anything like that in. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope this inspires you to get organised and DIY some really affordable storage ideas. Don't worry because I'll have all the links down below of the stuff I mentioned in this video. Also don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter for more videos and check out my previous two videos by clicking on the links on the right. Have a great day guys and I'll see you soon. Bye!